Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 23, probably a long-awaited lesson for some people. We're going to be talking about Tasker App Factory and creating apps with Tasker. Uh, before we get to that, I uh, just want to remind you that a good way to kind of sponsor these videos or uh, help out if you want to is to check out andytags.com. Um, really cool NFC tags, cool NFC keychains and things over there. Um, and it's my store, so if you buy something from there, you're sponsoring me. Um, also, check out my website, hollywoodphoto.com, when you get a chance. And let's get right to it. So Tasker App Factory um, basically allows you to take uh, profile task scenes you've created and uh, turn it into an app. An app that could be installed on any device, even if someone doesn't have Tasker installed. Um, I will say that this is not a good way to create apps for the App Store. It can be done, but it's very difficult. I have one app on the App Store that I did create with Tasker called True Silent, T R U S I L E N T, one word, True Silent. Um, but it's hard because of the graphic user interface aspect. You're very limited with the GUI, with Tasker, using scenes. And uh, unlike in programming, where you can program into your into your Android code a way for things to to scale bigger for bigger screens and smaller for smaller screens, and you can put all that in there, you can't really do that with Tasker um, effectively. So you could create something that looks really good on your Galaxy S3 screen, like I have here, and then someone installs it on uh, their Nexus 7, and it looks really stupid or someone installs it on their phone with a smaller screen and the words run together and they can't read them. Um, it's just really difficult as far as graphic user interface goes and also because, you know, Android is very fragmented and different phones have different things. And um, especially, I would say, never sell a Tasker App Factory app um, because if you are charging for something, then you need to be able to make it work uh, for the customer and troubleshoot. And you just can't really do that. Um, but uh, even putting something for free up there, like I did with True Silent, um, that was a rare one. There were two other apps I tried to create with Tasker, and the functionality was kind of there, but just it's just difficult with the GUI and stuff. Anyway, so that's that. Just want to get that out of the way so you know what this is for. Um, if you know someone else who has Tasker, you can export your task profile scenes as a XML file that they can then import into Tasker, uh, which is better because it'll function on their phone and it'll be in Tasker for them so they can change stuff around if they want. Um, but this is more like, let's say you're married, let's say your, your spouse makes fun of you for all the time you spend playing with Tasker on your phone, but then you tell her about this one profile you have and she's like, oh, that's really cool. Or maybe she here's the profile that speaks the person who's texting you and she's like oh I wish my phone would do that well here's your chance you can export it as an app and then she can install it on her phone and it'll work for her the same way it works for you and then she will she can never make fun of you again for all the time you spend on Tasker because if she does you can remind her that that app she has is because of your love for Tasker so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, uh, a simple one. Um, well, this isn't too simple, but we're going to do the, the texting uh, one, the one that uh, reads the name of the person who is texting you. So, this is the, uh, we had the one that turns it on. Just trying to remember which all ones we have here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new tab. When you want to create an app, you want to create a new tab for that app. So you long press on any tab and then you click add and you say uh, speak texture. You can make it anything you want to, but that's what we're going to call it. And then you basically have this new tab that's all empty and you want to put anything that's going to be part of the app into this. So, uh, ch -ch -ch receive text any and this this speaks speaks it. This is the one that speaks it. So, we'll uh, 
put our finger right there and you can see it looks like you can drag it so you drag it to speak texture and drop it and now if we go there you see and uh, it has that task that it's triggering but that task isn't here yet we want it to be here so go back to school I'm going to go to task and go 101 text 2 I think that's the right one yep 101 text 2 and we're going to drag that down to speak texture so now if we go here you can see you have the profile and you have the task um, now keep in mind we did create a couple of other profiles to regulate this because we didn't want it to speak the texture if we were on a phone call so cr we created a uh, certain um, uh, profiles to turn this off when a call was on and turn it back on and if you wanted to add those again you would just go back here you would uh, find those um, I think on call was what we used yeah on call and then text off and text on and you would add those to the profile as well uh, well why don't we go ahead and do that no we don't need to do that because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna example it for you so there's no need in doing it but just know that uh, if you're doing this you would probably want to include that so that it doesn't announce the texture when you're on a call basically anything that you want to be part of this app has to be in this tab um, any necessary profile and any necessary uh, uh, task so let's uh, I think that's all we need to do with that so here's what we're gonna do uh, if you had scenes that were involved you could go to scenes as well um, you can get really complex with that. If you check out that app I have on there, True Silent, you'll kind of see how there's different scenes. That creates the graphic user interface. Um, I also, on True Silent, have buttons that you can check that will change variables that will then turn profiles on and off. Um, that's how I did all that. Uh, but we're just going to create this simple app. So once that's done, you long press this tab. First thing you need to do is choose an icon. You can't have an iconless app. It has to have an icon, so we'll choose icon. Built-in icon, let's choose the, uh, I was gonna try to find something fun, but let's just choose the good old hippopotamus. Can't go wrong with a hippopotamus. So we choose the hippopotamus. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna long press on that and click export it'll ask me as an app or as XML we want to do it as an app keep in mind if you haven't installed Tasker App Factory you're not going to have that option Tasker App Factory is not part of Tasker you have to install it separately but it is free on the Play Store Tasker App Factory so we're going to choose as an app um, now package It'll tell you, it identifies your new app to Android. So you should pick a name, a special name, and you can see kind of different the format. So for me, I'm going to go C O M dot uh, HollywoodPhotoEric.com, and then I'm going to go dot uh, speak text all right and then version is the version of your app advanced configuration blah 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 uh, minimum Android version this is the minimum that it'll function on if you're using ICS or above then the lowest you can go is ICS. The reason for that is there are some new things in Android since ICS that would not be available in previous versions. So if you created an app using Tasker with ICS and then someone installs it on their old phone, it may not work right. And that is it. Uh, these are the required permissions based on the uh, uh, Tasker is getting those based on the uh, task and profile you you have in there but you can add extra permissions if you want when you're done you click the done slash back button and it exports speak texture depending on how complex your profile and task are that will determine how long it takes to export 
going to be finishing up here in a second. It is done. So we're going to click the check button to get out of there. I'm going to turn this uh, off so that we know that this profile and tasker is turned off so it's not going to do anything. Also, I'm going to choo -choo 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 -choo, turn off announce tasker. This is my own personal announce uh, tasker and I'm going to turn that off so that because uh, that would conflict. It'll be doing it twice. And so now what do we do? Well, first we have to go to Root Explorer. Actually, before we do that, let's go to my text app, my Google Voice, and I'm going to text myself. And it's not going to say, it shouldn't read anything because I turned off the apps that would normally read a text, an incoming text to me. So that text should come through in just a second. And my battery is getting really low. And you see, that text came through, but nothing's being read because I have those profiles turned off. So if we go to Root Explorer, uh, this is where you'll find your app. You go to SD card and go to your, basically you're going to your Tasker file, which is on my SD card. So SD card. Tasker, down here at the bottom, Tasker, open that, and then Factory, or App Factory, and then Kits, and that's where these things are, and you'll see right here, Speak, Texture, APK, right there. So I'm going to, uh, if you wanted to send this to someone else to put on their phone, you just copy this file and give it to someone else, they could install it on their phone. We're going to install it on my phone right now. So I'm going to press it. It'll say, what do you want to do? I want to install. Install. So it's now installing this app on my phone. And sorry for the focus issue that happens when there's not much on the screen. Um, I'm going to click done. Because I do want to show you, uh, once you've installed an app like that from Tasker, you have to open it first. So let's go to Speak Text. Um, there it is, Speak Texter. So I'm going to open it. So now it's open and running. So now, if I text, I receive a text. Uh, I sent SMS and is texting you. It's reading the last text. So let's uh, let's. Start, it's because I opened it the first time. I'm going to say, hi, how are you? And I'm going to send it. Wait for that text to come through. Eric. Eric Google has texted you. So there you go. So I sent a text. As soon as the text, as soon as we got the text, it announced it. I'll try one more time. Eric, Eric Google has texted you. So as you can see, it's announcing, uh, uh, announcing the text when it comes through. And that's how you do it with Tasker. That's how you create your app with Tasker. Um, sometimes you have to play with things. Something seems to work great in Tasker, and then you export it as an app, and then you have someone try it, and it doesn't work, and you realize you forgot to add something that needed to be added to that tab to be part of it, or it just uh, you have to tweak it a little bit. But uh, generally speaking, it works pretty well. Um, like I said, you can check out True Silent on the App Store. That's the app I did create with Tasker. But as I said in the beginning, not a great way to create apps for the App Store because you're just limited, um, especially with the uh, GUI. Uh, you're very, very limited. So, but uh, if it's, you can do it if you want to do it. And you can certainly create apps for uh, your friends if they see a Tasker profile you have and think it's really cool and they don't have Tasker. Um, probably you should just convince them to get Tasker. But if they don't have Tasker, then that's how you use Tasker App Factory to create your own app.
Anyway, that's it for this review. Hopefully you liked this. Hopefully it uh, helped uh, explain how to use Tasker App Factory. If you have any questions or anything, of course, feel free to leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, subscribe to my channel. Check out my channel for other Android app reviews and all kinds of fun stuff. Don't forget to stop by antitags.com if you get a chance. Just see if those NFC tags and keychains are something you might could uh, have some fun with. As well as check out my uh, website, hollywoodphoto.com. Share this review with anyone you know who might be interested. Maybe someone who wants to uh, uh, create their own apps. It's a fun way, you know, if you don't know any programming, learning Tasker is kind of a good intro to Android programming, I guess. It's a way to get started before you can, before you really dig into the, the true programming language. So uh, anyway, that's about it. Until next time, so have fun with Tasker. Mm -hmm.